Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Game Creator Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to take a look at how to create a character, ride a vehicle. More specifically, we'll see how the player can jump in a hover bike and get off by pressing the return key. We've chosen a hover bike, but the same concept can be applied to cars, trucks, horses or even skateboards. So without further delay, let's get hands on! Here we have a simple scene with a tiled floor and a 3D model of a hover bike, made by CD Studios. We'll add a box collider and a rigid body component so we can play around it using the arrow keys. We're also going to attach a hover motor script that allows the bike to move around. Check out the link in the description to download this script. It's available for free at the Unity Learn Hub. We're also going to change some default parameters we found work best in this case. If we hit play, we should be able to move the hover bike around. Because we don't want the vehicle to move right at the start of the game, we'll deactivate the hover motor component. Now let's create a player object and place it somewhere near the bike. We'll also create a follow camera motor that will be used for when the player is running around the scene and we'll also create a fixed camera motor that will be used when the player is riding the bike and we'll place it as a child of the vehicle. Now comes the tricky part. We want the player to jump to the bike when pressing the return key and if the user presses it again, the player should hop off. Let's create a trigger object and set the type to on key up with the return option. this trigger to call the conditions object. This conditions object will check if a local variable has a variable called is writing set to true or false. To do so, we'll create a local variable component on the conditions and create a boolean variable with the default value of false. Now back to the conditions component, we'll set the condition to check whether the boolean variable is writing is true. slot empty, as we'll fill it later. If the isWriting variable is false, it will automatically fall back to the else statement. First of all, we need to deactivate the player's collision with the bike. Game Creator doesn't come with an action that does that. But we created one and published it in the Game Creator Hub. In case you're wondering what that is, Game Creator Hub is a social platform where anyone can upload their own actions, conditions and triggers so other users can download them for free. We want to look at the character collision action. Once you find it, click on the download button and it will be yours. We simply double click the Unity package and it will be automatically installed in your project. We can now start preparing the chain of actions that will make the player ride the hover bike. As we said before, the first thing we need to do is deactivate the player's collision using the new character collision action. Then, we'll deactivate the player character component using the enable component action. This action requires to write down the name of the component without spaces. Next, we'll use the state action and change the player's state to match the animation clip of him riding a bike. We're no experts in animation, so all we did was search through the Mixano Animation Store and we picked up one that more or less fitted the pose of riding a bike. Because we want the player to move with the hover bike, we use the transform action to make the player a child of the vehicle and match its rotation. to action to smoothly move the player to its riding position. We 
will also change the camera motor to the one inside the bike. As well as assign a value of true to its is riding variable. Lastly, we'll use the enable component action again, but this time we'll use it to enable the hover motor component of the hover bike. There's just one more thing left to do. In order for the player to jump off the vehicle, we need to set the same actions list as before but inverting the order. We can do that by duplicating the actions and reordering them. That's all, let's hit play and see the results. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe. And as always, remember you can download Game Creator from the Unity Asset Store. Cheers!